This week, it came out that Bona Mugabe, the only daughter of Zimbabwe's first president, Robert Mugabe, owns a lot of land in Harare's best neighborhoods, 21 farms, a $8 million mansion in Dubai, and a whole fleet of luxury cars. Even more. When the assets were brought up in the divorce case between the younger Mugabe and her ex-husband, Simba Chiko, who used to be an airline pilot, people in the southern African country got very angry. Mugabe, who is 33, has been married to Chiko, who is 46, for nine years. But earlier this year, Mugabe asked for their marriage to be cancelled, saying that they couldn't get along. Chiko is fighting the divorce, and he wants the Harare court to give him joint custody of the couple's three children and a share of the assets they bought together if he wins. The bitter breakup has shown how much money the family of Zimbabwe's longtime leader has amassed. According to court documents seen by Al Jazeera, the ex-family president owns a $80 million real estate portfolio. Chico also said that the family owns a number of cars, including a $800,000 Rolls Royce and three Range Rovers. In court papers, Bona's lawyer, Fangai Chamwamerom, told the press that the properties were real. This week, angry Zimbabweans took to social media to protest the shocking news about the wealth of the Mugabe family. See, Mugabe was so dirty. That's only the tip of the iceberg. Can you imagine what he, his other kids, his uncles, aunts, rats, dogs, and friends own? Gideon Boba Tyler Medwa wrote on Facebook. Distribution of wealth against the constitution. Musa Kika, a lawyer and the executive director of the Zimbabwe Human Rights NGO Forum, said that if Chico's claims turned out to be accurate and true, it would show that wealth was being given to people who were close to political power in a way that was against the constitution. This goes against the spirit of our constitution if it turns out to be true. Our constitution says that land is a limited resource that should be shared fairly. Section 293.2 says that the state may not sell more than one piece of agricultural land to the same person and his or her dependents. Kika told Al Jazeera that this is a violation of the constitution. He says that the word alienate refers to both renting out land and selling it. Forms bottom. Stephen Chuma. The youth interim spokesman for the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, which is Zimbabwe's main opposition, said that the divorce case proved that the land reform exercise was never about the landless majority but was meant to enrich leaders of the post-colonial state. In the early 2000s, the older Mugabe ran a controversial campaign called Land Reform. He took land from white farmers and gave it to landless blacks. Critics said at the time that he gave the lots to friends and allies. And the same thing is being said again. The ZANU-PF, ruling party, looting committee, has thrown out the one man, one farm idea, Chuma told Al Jazeera. Looting par excellence. The latest news comes just two weeks after a shocking Al Jazeera documentary showed that people with ties to Zimbabwean government officials and the ruling party were smuggling large amounts of gold. Al Jazeera's investigative unit I unit made the four-part documentary The Gold Mafia. It was based on dozens of undercover operations that took place on three continents and thousands of documents. President Emerson Unangogwa overthrew the late strongman in a military coup in 2017. In the past few months, he has been under a lot of scrutiny, and some people are questioning what role he played in the gold looting scandal. A cleric named Ambassador by Unangogwa, Hubert Angel, was caught on camera offering to use his diplomatic position to help Al Jazeera undercover reporters pose as Asian reporters and smuggle millions of dollars and wash the money. Some Zimbabweans are now calling for similar investigations to find out how Mugabe's daughter came to have so many assets. Simba did the right thing by putting those properties on the list as a settlement plan. But it did let the world know something, said Karika Mazara, who used to be in the media. You don't have to be a genius to see that Simba Chico's list of properties were bought in a shady way. So, I really hope that after the divorce case is over, the judge in charge of the divorce settlement will remember to ask how those properties were bought. And then ask for judicial investigation. It's not the first time someone has tried to kill two birds with one stone. Some people wanted to know how much money the Mugabe family had made over the years. They own 21 farms. So what about their parents? Looting par excellence. If this system came from the liberation war, it was a waste of time. Eric Knight wrote something on Facebook. 
Many Zimbabweans were shocked by the OMO announcement today.